Hi, my name is Matt Lamas with Progressive Pulse. We are here at the 32nd annual LGBT Frameline Festival in the Mission District of San Francisco at the lovely Victoria Theatre. We are here to see 10 More Good Years, a film by Mike Jacoby, who we will have the pleasure of sitting down with after the movie, as well as some of the actors involved in making the film. Let's take a look. What did you think about the film today? I thought it was fabulous. Um, I'm going to be... Well, I'm technically a senior since I'm 51 now, <laughs> depending on exactly how you define senior. But, you know, very quickly I'm going to be as old as the people in the film. And I love older people because of their stories. And, in fact, I'm thinking of volunteering with the Lavender Seniors in East Bay to go and visit shut-ins and whatnot. And I wanted to see this film just to sort of get me motivated. How was this entire movie experience for you, working with Mike, having him come into your life, Overall, how would you say that was for you? Uh, it's excellent. I enjoyed it. Yeah, Mike's an easy guy to work with. He's really great. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how do you think that this movie, you know, with the combination of the initiation of gay marriage into society, is going to change the future for elderly gay individuals, couples, society? And uh, I think it's the most important step in that process. Yeah. More rights for all parties involved. Exactly. It, it, everything else will fall into line behind that. Finally, right? Yeah. Been a long time. Been a long time coming. Yes, it really has. Uh, you know, when 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 I, I I had a partner for 16 years, and we never had a problem being just the way we were. And we didn't even tell anybody we were gay sometimes, you know. Oftentimes we were around more straight people than gay people. Nobody seemed to mind, you know. Uh, that's a good thing, and I like that, you know. And uh, it worked out well for us. Tell us a little, a little about what inspired you to create such an amazing film. Uh, about ten years ago I was working in a restaurant in New York, and I was approached uh, by a customer, an older man, he was in his 70s, and he asked me to go uh, to lunch with him, and I said no, because I just figured that he was interested in something more than lunch. He kept pursuing it, finally I gave in, and he said, you know, if you thought I was asking you on a date, you're, you're wrong. I'm in my mid-70s, most of my friends are passing away, but I'm young and vibrant, and I want new friends. He's since become my best friend. He's opened my eyes to a lot of the issues. He introduced me to a guy named Bill Kirkpatrick, who works here in uh, San Francisco for New Leaf Services whose main focus is bringing elders out, LGBT elders out of isolation and, and helping them out. So I just did a lot of listening and once I listened enough, I realized that this is something that everybody should know about because if we don't change things now, it doesn't matter how young you are, it, you can wind up in the, same, in the same boat. How are you feeling about the recent decision in California to legalize marriage and how do you think that that's going to change senior LGBT seniors in future generations to come? Uh, well, I, I, I mean, it's, a, a, it's an amazing thing to happen. I know in New York State, I could, I, I could now go get married in California, take that license back to New York, and it would be valid. The only problem is, is the federal benefits are the ones that are really going to make a big difference. The nice thing about California is being that it's one of the biggest states and the most influential. If something happens in California, then maybe it's a domino effect and other states will follow. If we can get enough states to follow the great lead of California, then maybe the federal government will change things. So it's a, it's a fantastic step in the right direction. I certainly think that movies like 10 More Good Years, people like you, people getting involved at a, at a different generation to promote and to assist the elderly community to get the message out there is certainly going to help in the long run. Do you plan on doing more work with the, uh, the LGBT senior community in uh, future work? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, in pre-production right now on a film about HIV survivors, men who uh, may have lost everybody to uh, HIV that was close to them, then maybe had HIV themselves became totally isolated because they had no one, but they're now, because of better medications, realizing they have a lot of life left in them and they're kind of re-emerging. And they're important people in our community and they can they can provide a great deal of information to a younger generation of, of folks who are suddenly on the rise as far as becoming HIV positive. So these stories that these men can tell might help a lot of the younger kids you know, go in the right direction. We just have to keep listening to elders, you know. There's not, nothing to be afraid of. I can't figure out exactly why I'm so touched. I think it was because we've had, my generation has had so much that we've won so much, but we still have a long way to go. So 
Yeah, why don't you continue fighting? But, you know, I think that this movie might inspire a younger generation to help out in that struggle, really get involved, and try to take initiative. Yeah? I don't know any... I'm sorry. No, I'm... I'm sorry. I don't know any young lesbians or young men. But, um... Let's hope they're strong, <laughs> because there's still a lot of work to do. And we have people married down in City Hall right now, and we still... I mean, it's frightening to be an older lesbian, to be real honest with you. And I have a house, and I've been very lucky, and I've had an incredibly difficult life, too. So, and both ways, and it's still both ways. It's not going to, you know what I mean? Absolutely.